Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about glasses. Specifically glasses that we wear to do vision correction for either astigmatism, farsightedness or nearsightedness. Generally once a year we always have to go to the doctor and get our eyes checked and make sure to get our prescription updated. But today I'm actually going to be checking out something called the vision check from IQ that enables us to actually track our vision over the year without necessarily having to set up an appointment and go and see our doctor. And not only that, the information that it provides us enables us to actually order glasses. So I want to say thank you very much to IQ for obviously sponsoring this video. Thank you very much for you guys to checking out this video, but let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and check out my new pair of glasses that I got from using the system. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified too whenever we have new videos on the channel. So this is the IQ Vision Check. This is an at-home vision testing kit. It uh, basically received the uh, 2019 Innovation Award from CES. Uh, the kit itself has the basically the measuring device as well as the strap. They do include some glasses for framing, but that an actual frame or the smartphone itself. Uh, and again, uh, just basically says it right there. Uh, and you're able to actually track your information on this. It's not just a one-time test that you get for $69. You're actually able to track it over time and it is available on Amazon. Amazon through their website. Of course, I'll give you guys links in the description below. So we have some chamois to keep everything clean. A micro USB to USB type A charging cable. This will be helpful to charge our measuring device. Uh, there is a strap here that we will be using to secure our device directly on our display. So essentially what we're doing here is we're putting this unit itself. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Uh, this is where you charge it with the micro USB, a power button with an LED light built in to tell us when it's charging. Uh, selection tool as well as uh, configuration. So I'll explain to you guys when we get that in the test. Nothing on the left. On the bottom, this is just basically uh, adhered here, but essentially this is going to be going directly on your display and you're going to be using the straps to secure it to your device so that there's no chance for your phone to fall out in the middle of the test. That's because last thing you want to do is obviously any information or anything to move while you're conducting your test. They also do include some uh, frames here for the PD test, which essentially is pupillary distance and it's measuring the distance uh, between your eyes. And that's going to be there. We'll do that. That's a separate test that you need to do. And keep in mind that there is somewhat of a learning curve to this. So there is a practice mode in the actual application that you should probably do at least three to four times before conducting the actual test, just so that you're comfortable and you understand how to actually do the test correctly. Uh, the other option here, obviously, is the product manual explaining to you exactly how to be able to actually read the information, which is kind of a sample results there. And as you can see, the glasses themselves do have letter T's in there that we will need to align in the app once we're done doing our vision check. As I mentioned to you guys, there's an application that's available in both Android and iOS, and it's called Vision Check. Uh, you could just look it up directly in the Google Play Store, IQ, and it'll come up with the Vision Check application. It requires you to do three tests minimum to be able to get a result. So basically what I have here are my results after taking in my test. I can email my results or I can order some glasses directly with them. And this is pretty much where Zenny comes in. Zenny is a good company to be able to actually use. They're not part of the sponsorship here, but I was able to purchase my glasses for about $24 uh, straight out. And these glasses actually look kind of cool. Um, although I do recommend you, if you are going to be picking up glasses, even at the uh, price of $20, make sure you get the right size frame. So that was my only thing. Uh, the frame does fit me, but it's actually a little bit tight around my head. But overall, it still gives me a good experience of how these glasses are going to perform, especially that these numbers are coming straight out of the vision check tool, as well as the PD check right there. Uh, the testing process is very simple. You have the vision check and the PD check. And I mentioned the PD check will be using the glasses himself, and it aligns it directly into the view. One of the cool things that they did here is that they give you uh, basically auditory instruction on every single step you have to go through. So first and foremost, obviously, we need to be able to pair our device. So we'll go ahead and say start now. Welcome to IQ. To get started, oops, we couldn't find your device. Please try pairing again. So what they want us to do is press and hold the button for five seconds till the actual device gets into pairing mode. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. And you can see here that the light does actually turn on and it looks like it's pairing. I'll go ahead and say scan. Please select your device. It finds the video. It finds the device. Now connect it. Please select continue. So the instructions are very, very specific and very detailed. So all we need to do essentially is take the cover off the actual unit itself, and we need to basically align it directly into here. So the best thing to do here, the center of the actual unit is obviously the main important part. So we're gonna basically remove cover and place vision check here. And they also do instruct you that actually keep the controls up. So if your device camera is on the top, make sure your camera and your device itself is measured. So we'll go ahead and put it in here and I'm just gonna put it down and it says, have you removed the glasses and um, removed glasses or contacts? You say yes. Uh, do you have any screen protector on your phone? You say yes. 
I have a glass screen protector and I do have my glasses and I'm going to have to remove them. I'll go ahead and put my current glasses on the side. And at this point, what we need to do is use these straps to actually uh, basically adhere this device directly to the actual phone. Uh, the main thing you want to keep in mind, if you're using it with the case, make sure you uh, keep in mind that you may be actually configuring uh, your device, depending on how you, or your system is set up, that it may be actually going over the power button, kind of like how my S20 Ultra is doing right here. So. You notice there's some gaps in here. Those are those are actually present there for a reason. So you need to adjust it to a point where at least this opening goes over your power button. Otherwise, your device will basically be power cycling every time. It's pretty much stuck. This is it. It's there's no there's no place for it to go. My entire phone and this are actually strapped. It actually works pretty good. And again, just configure it to your device. If you have a uh, obviously a power button on the left side, on the right side, whichever you want, just make sure you open up the gaps so that it doesn't actually shut the device off. Now. This is the process where you'll be able to go in and take a practice or take an actual test. Practice and the test are pretty much the same. The only difference is it doesn't register the information. So for me, I've already taken the test multiple times. So let's go ahead and go to the test. Let's start with your first measurement. Hold the device at reading distance. In See, the instructions here are very, very clear. Uh, what it's asking us to do essentially is do not close any one of our eyes. We're going to be testing the right eye first. As you can see right there, it's highlighting the right eye. And what we need to do is essentially hold the phone within reading distance. So what you normally use, uh, basically the distance that you read a book, a magazine or anything like that. And of course, put it at that level and then look at the actual two inserts here. You'll notice right there, there's some color light. So you right and let me kind of align it for you guys there. So you can see right there. So here's a green and uh, green and red light. And what it's trying to do essentially is get it to the point where it's aligned correctly with your eye. You get this and then once you have this set up, you get closer, you bring it closer to the right eye you're testing. In this situation, it's the right eye. And at that point, it's pretty simple. Uh, once you have that there, you'll be able to use the buttons that you have here to get those lines to align. Even though we're looking at them right now straight, this is pretty much just more of an alignment. And of course, you do not want to close your other eye. You just want to focus it somewhere else. So just keep looking straight. And of course, just focus on actually configuring this one. What the actual tool is trying to do, it's trying to figure out what is the offset in these for each eye. So that's the general test. That's why we're doing a test in each eye separately. Uh, and what I mean by offset essentially is that where does the actual image reside? If you have nearsightedness or farsightedness or even astigmatism, the actual image for some reason or another, it doesn't actually hit the right spot in the back of the eye where we actually register our information. So it's slightly off and our eyes need to compensate for that. That's generally why we squint, we try to focus, we're trying to align the actual image to land in the right spot. And what glasses do for us essentially is that they actually provide that offset. When our, we, when our eyes are measured directly at the doctor, they're basically figuring out what is the offset? What do we need to provide the eye to actually allow it to basically put the image in focus in that spot on the back of the eye? And that's what glasses are doing. So again, hold it at reading distance. If this is the reading distance for you, look at it, find the actual color lines and then bring it over to your eye. I'm going to go ahead and just bring it over here. And at this point, I can basically start doing my test. And initially, when you first put it in there, you're going to notice that the lines are not on top of each other. And you're basically using the buttons on the top and on the right and left to be able to basically align them. Unfortunately, I don't have a way of showing you what this actually kind of looks like, but they did provide me with a sample image of essentially what this is trying to do. And I'm sharing to you with you guys right now. So they do recommend you doing this test at least three times. I personally recommend going at least four to five times just to basically make sure you have enough data points to be able to give you that medium. And it actually gets it more accurate. Um, for me, I did actually just do it three times and I did order my glasses based on that. So we're going to see obviously how these work. Uh, the other thing obviously is after you do that test, you do need to do the PD test. That's basically the uh, pupillary distance uh, basically just aligning it to know exactly where your eyes are set. So how far your eyes are. Everybody's face is different. Our eyes are not all positioned in the same spot. So let's go ahead and switch over to that and let me show you how that works. Now the second test is basically the PD test. We're going to go ahead and say start now. We're going to actually wear these glasses. So I'll go ahead and put them on. And you want to be able to align the image exactly to what this looks like. So the frame will be set on the display and you just basically adjust the distance of the device to be able to get the best experience. And as you can see right there, it actually did snap the image. And what we're going to do basically here is align the different so you notice there's the T's the and they're not actually sitting in the right spot. And the, again, the goal essentially is just to kind of get everything set up in the right format uh, so that it knows exactly where things are. Once we have this information, we're pretty much set. We can use this to actually order uh, prescription glasses directly from websites. Again, the example would be here is Zenny. Okay, let's go ahead and put them on. And um, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. 
As far as who is this for, they do recommend this for people that are at basically 27 years of age or older. Um, you don't need to have insurance. You don't need to make an appointment at your doctor's office. Pretty much all you need to do is basically once you get the kit, uh, set it up the way I shared with you guys, download the application, pair the actual uh, measuring device, and then go through the test and make sure you do the second, which is the PD uh, measurement, just to make sure to get actually for them to know exactly where how far your eyes are from apart, as well as basically how a pair of glasses will actually fit on you. Um, all of that for me again took me about roughly 15 minutes and what that went essentially is just a couple of practice rounds and then from there on I was able to do my test in roughly about two minutes as you get comfortable in the process. Lastly, this actually can be used with as many people as you want as long as they have their own account and just be aware uh, the actual device includes a free one year subscription so meaning it's a $5 fee that normally would have been charged um, for the first person that registers. The second person will have to pay that $5 fee and then essentially is every other person and it is a $5 fee per year uh, mostly to be able to use the tool but not only that it's also to be able to give you the information over time so you can be able to basically just check your information over time take multiple tests as many times as you'd like uh, for me, I think this is a very good tool from the sense of if you'd like to be able to basically track your vision uh, without necessarily having to call your eye doctor and set up an appointment. At least for me, my insurance only covers me to see my doctor for free once a year and even then once every two years for a prescription. So uh, when you factor in all that cost at about 70 bucks, this is actually not that bad. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of the IQ vision check? Again, no appointment, no insurance, easy to set up about 70 bucks and it covers you for a year uh, for the first year with the five bucks and it's five bucks after that to be able to keep using the kit. Um, overall, it works great. I did test it out with an Android device that was the Galaxy S20 Ultra, as you guys saw, and it worked really, really nicely. And it does work with iOS as well if you have an iPhone. Uh, but other than that, thank you very much to IQ for sponsoring this video. Thank you very much for watching it and checking it out. And please share this with all your friends. Like and subscribe as usual. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video.